Um, yeah, hello. Um, um, I'm going to do a controversial talk about uh, why Blender crashes, because of course Blender never crashes, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the case is, is, is a bit different. Um, Blender can crash. Um, this talk is more about platform support, for, uh, about the topic from, okay, why does Blender crash with the same scene, with the same uh, uh, settings on one machine, but doesn't on the other machine. And that's mainly because there are platform differences. And um, often those platform di uh, 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 differences are more related to the Blender code base than to the, pla to the platform, except that we didn't know about that platform. Um, so let's start. Um, some typical reports that, that, that we get is unable to start Blender. That's easy. Uh, switching to material preview or render pre 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 preview or rendering with, uh, with the EV crashes. That often happens. Or enabling uh, or EV runs, then you enable a specific option and then EV crashes or Blender crashes. What are the possible reasons why that happens? And most of them are really software-based, and those are more on the Blender side than on the driver side or the platform side, because uh, platforms work differently. Let's talk about limits. Well, you, you have a GPU, your GPU has eight gigabytes of memory or whatever, and as a user, you think that eight gigabytes, that's your limit. That's the amount of textures or amount of information you can put on the GPU. But that's not often the case. The driver tells you from, okay, these are the physical limits, like it's actually on the, on, on the hardware, but Sometimes it just say, say from, yeah, the hardware can do much more, uh, but the best practice is to limit it. Or the driver is a bit older. Uh, back then, it was a good time to limit it, but now the hardware and the software is better, and still the same limits are being applied. And I'm going to, uh, over this talk with, with, with some, some cases. I uh, uh, and uh, had to solve the past uh, six months. And one, and one of them was that Blender crashed uh, when you set uh, uh, the volume uh, pool size to an am amount of 512 of one gigabyte. Uh, EV uses uh, a 3D texture to store that uh, data uh, on the GPU. And during the, the allocation, if the texture cannot be created, EV will crash. Um, the, when based on the different pool sizes that you that you select, and a different uh, GPU te uh, 3D texture is being created, and you will automatically see that uh, if you go to 512, you get above an, uh, the. The, the, the y-axis of the textures gets above the uh, two, 2048. And that this specific uh, GPU, uh, the driver therefore uh, says from, okay, uh, the maximum allowed size is 248. But what does that mean? The OpenGL specification, it really describes very well uh, how to uh, interpret that, 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 that number. We get a rough estimate. Uh, you should not talk to developers with rough estimates because they don't know how to deal with that. Or a large text from, from yeah, it can be one, but um, it can be also other. Like, okay, it's, it's a square texture. The square texture should be done, but if you make a skinny texture, it should also be, be possible. And mind you, most drivers implement this from if any dimension is above this number, we will not give you that texture. So, um, 
We, uh, uh, we fix that by making sure that uh, the tree detection will fit inside uh, uh, the, the, the memory limits. Uh, but f when uh, for on, 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 on certain cases, yeah, we cannot su uh, su su support all the, uh, the, the limits. So in certain uh, cases, when, when you select uh, one, one gigabyte of, uh, of uh, pool size, it will go back to 512. Show you an, a, a message from, uh, yeah, you, you've selected this, but I'm doing this. But is this a driver-related thing or a hardware-related thing? You don't know. <coughs> but if we check in, in the Vulcan backend, if we enable that, you will see that the hardware is just capable of running it. So it, it is actually a limit that's done inside the driver from, okay, best practice, uh, best way, when uh, when when the driver was uh, was was released, this is the best way how to ap approach it, or any other reason. A, 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 a website that I often use to to check those limits that is the GPU info. Um, there's a specific one for Vulkan. There's a specific one for OpenGL, and you can. Uh, uh, see from, from, from any devices or driver or combination of, 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 of them from, okay, how, uh, uh, what are those limits? And mind you that the specification mentioned that it needs to be at least six, uh, 64. Uh, there are drivers out, out there that uh, say from, okay, one. I'm not sure what, how that texture will look like because it might be just one pixel. And another topic why uh, Blender often uh, uh, crashes is about shader compilation. Uh, Blender has quite an, uh, an, a big pipeline uh, uh, how shaders are compiled. Blender has its own, uh, well, that is how I call it, uh, its own GLSL language. It's not OpenGL uh, GLSL, it's not Falcon GLSL, and it is not MSL. But we have some, uh, some tra transformation in place that can convert that Blender-specific GLSL to uh, MSL, OpenGL, or Vulkan. And then that part is, uh, is then uh, given to the front-end compiler. The front-end compiler can be part of the driver or could be part of Blender. Like in the Vulkan, uh, uh, you're not... Uh, you have to do it your, 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 yourself. That front-end compiler does... Um, that uh, front-end con 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 compiler then converts uh, the GLSL in some intermediate language, uh, which is uh, hardware in, in, in independent. And then a backend compiler says from, okay, you're using this specific GPU, it has this specific limit, this number of uh, local memory, this number of registries. I'm going to uh, rewrite that, uh, that to, to machine code using that, that uh, limit. That's the responsibility of the backend compiler. Then you get the actual machine code that's being uploaded to the GPU and, and, and executed. Yeah, Blender shaders are uh, GL, G, G, GLSL based. It looks almost uh, the, the same. Uh, most of the differences are uh, some, uh, some differences be between the languages that we uh, wrapped around using macros or uh, uh, the defines, the, the or the bindings, like the bindings you attach to, 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 to a shader. That's being done differently per platform. The front-end comp 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 compilation, it does the syntax validation, source code parsing, macros, loop unrolling, a lot of stuff. And eventually comes into that intermediate language. An example of that intermediate language, this is uh, from, from, from a shader inside uh, Blender, 
uh, represented as spare, uh, spare V, uh, but it doesn't use any uh, re registers. It just assumes from, from, okay, if I need a new register, I can just grab a new uh, uh, register. So this one uses a lot of registers al already, already. And then eventually the backend uh, compiler stage will uh, use the hardware limits to uh, and, and optimize it specifically for that uh, GPU. Here's a nice example. Can anyone spot the issue? I will show you the error message. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it 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 is it's really from uh, the uh, G the GLSL that we have. Uh, we also are able to compile on the CPU, so we are able to do asserts and asserts with message where you give a, a string, but G, G GLSL doesn't support strings. So it finds a bracket and thinks from, okay, this is a function call. Oh, it starts with, uh, the first parameter starts with a number and it's one six K and then it breaks. <laughs> <laughs> so the solution is this. <laughs> yeah. And and of course, modern compilers don't have this 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 issue. This is really on 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 uh, some uh, legacy platforms of ten years ago uh, that had this issues. But our users are uh, using them, and we want to support as mo uh, as much as possible uh, platforms that exist. The challenges that, Open, uh, that OpenGL has is that the compiler is part of the driver. So every driver can have a different uh, compiler, which, uh, which works differently. Um, they started out fair, fair, fairly small, like when shaders were int introduced, a shader was around 100 lines of code. A typical Blender uh, shader is 10,000 lines of code, so there's a big difference about uh, uh, the complexity that's, that's there. Um, but that complexity also pushes the limits of those drivers. Um, uh, doing like uh, macro on, 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 on rolling on 100 lines of code is totally different than doing it on 10,000 lines of code. Modern drivers can handle that. It is more about, okay, we have some older platforms, the drivers are uh, uh, not, not maintained anymore, uh, and, we, and, and uh, we are struggling on getting that uh, to compile our code. Because those drivers, uh, they also evolve with, with, with new, uh, new, new hardware, uh, but they also support their older hardware. And there are games on, on them based on the older hardware that also needs to run. So typically what, 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 what happens is that they, they try to fix it, but actually they don't, uh, if, if the specifications is, 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 is getting more strict, they still uh, use a loose uh, 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 yeah, strictness. So they, uh, if a user updates a driver, the game that they played yesterday doesn't crash. Uh, but drivers don't warn us about that. So often uh, we get a crash report uh, based on from, okay, um, the specifications is more strict. Um, so we, uh, but the driver didn't warn us about that strictness. So we didn't solve it. Uh, but actually our code is bad. And we have to fix that. And often that's being fixed when uh, a, a, a user has that specific system 
runs Blender, and then it crashes and reports. Additional uh, challenges with Metal is that the GPU driver, as, as, as a user, you can't update it, except when you uh, update the whole operating system. And that's also, uh, yeah, that, that, that's a choice that they made, and there are good uh, points on, on making those, those uh, choices. Uh, but it, it also adds uh, another level of, of complexities. Uh, sometimes users don't want to update their operating system because they can't, because they're using older hardware, or because they won't, because uh, they can't go back to a previous version, and they don't know from if they update if, if everything still works. And that's uh, sometimes what, what, what we see in our reports from, we know from, okay, in the next version of the operating system, the issue is solved, uh, but users can't or won't update to that version. Resource lifetimes. This is just a uh, part, part of the, of the Blender uh, code. Uh, recently added. It creates the textures, it does something with it, it draws something, and then at the end it frees the texture. At, if the CPU is, is at the end of this function, what has happened on the GPU? Sometimes it is only allocating memory and that's, that's everything. So you're freeing the texture, but it's not being up uploaded yet? That's right. When you uh, use, uh, use the GPU module or, uh, uh, or, or that, uh, or even, even in OpenGL, the commands that you want to execute are being recorded. Then the backend can optimize that, those commands because the order of the, of the commands uh, really depends on from what's the performance that you can get or some uh, commands are only allowed in certain condition that the GPU is on. That's being optimized. Uh, commands that are not useful are removed and then eventually it is submitted. This all happens on the CPU itself. And then the GPU uh, will get receive those commands to be executed, uh, but that can be that uh, the actual drawing can happen one frame after the CPU has uh, uh, provided those commands. So here is the case where if you free a texture, the texture is, hasn't been used at all. After the drawing, uh, the, to, to, uh, to, to fix the tearing of the, of the, of the, of the screen, it's uh, the GPU is waiting for the monitor uh, to be on a certain re refresh step before that uh, drawing is then presented to the user on the monitor. After this step, you know for sure that you can free the resources that you have re removed. But the trick is how to get that information from, okay, the GPU is on this part to actually free the resources. Because if you free resources, th that memory can be reused by totally different things. And that can really mess up all your, all your, all your, all your draw uh, drawing and might also uh, lead to crashes because it's not doing the stuff that you told him to do, but perhaps it is not writing to, 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 to an image, but writing to a vertex buffer. Anything can happen. The last part is the weight of the of uh, legacy, and um, yeah, this this is uh, my my idea is 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 always from uh, Blender is being used by many people, and even uh, uh, children or or students that don't have that much of uh, 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 money to buy the latest system, and. Um, 
I'm always trying to get as much as support to the legacy systems as possible. Uh, but that's the challenge. Especially, like I told you about the shader pipe, pipe, pipelines, in the, in the older uh, sh shader pipelines, it was 100 lines of codes, now it's 10,000 li lines of codes. Making sure that, that that works is difficult. But on the other side, from the hardware vendor uh, point of view, it is also normal to, uh, to actually, uh, at, at a cer certain point of, of, of time, uh, not support any uh, hardware or the update the drivers anymore. Only uh, update the drivers if there are really uh, uh, security issues. Because they, need, uh, they can't maintain everything or perhaps the, 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 the hardware uh, uh, is not being used that, that, that much or there's a marketing uh, point of view to it or yeah, regular business. Um, but open source here really helps, like uh, the, the idea that I have on supporting uh, um, uh, Blender 2 as much as possible uh, uh, hardwares, that's also the same idea that uh, Mesa has with their open source drivers. Uh, often when uh, an, an, a platform fails or uh, uh, crashes and uh, it it can't run on the, uh, the latest get, uh, provided drivers, uh, switch to Linux and you will see that often it will st still work for a long time. But then uh, switch to Linux is also uh, a big step. <laughs> um, when hardware gets end, end, end of life, bugs inside the driver uh, uh, will not be, uh, be, 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 be solved. But still, it is really important for, uh, for me to get that, that information uh, from, okay, this driver doesn't work, and get a lot and uh, get, get some details on, on it and uh, talk to, our to, to the hardware vendors to find out from, from, okay, what's actually happening inside that driver? Because Perhaps they can't update that, that, that driver anymore, but I can work around it from, okay, this specific instruction or this, uh, this doesn't work. Work around it so we don't use it on those drivers and then it works. So Blender provides several work, work, workarounds uh, that, that can be, can be en, 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 enabled from, okay, a specific uh, data type doesn't work. Okay, we use a different data type then for this specific GPU. Or some data packing algorithms need, needs to be different, so the alignment in the memory is, uh, is expected by the driver. So even on the Blender side, we can do something, uh, but also it is a bit limited. If you download a driver, it's not actually a driver. It's most, most, most of the time a package of drivers and based on what you're using, OpenGL Vulkan or uh, DirectX or which GPU architecture you, are, you are actually have uh, on your GPU, a different driver will, will be installed. So the marketed driver can be totally different than the actual driver that, uh, that, that is being used. To give an example, um, here's a list of uh, driver versions, like the marketed driver versions, that's 24.9.1. But it can, depends on which architecture your GPU is on, from, okay, which Falcon version does it support? So if people said from, yeah, I have the latest version of, the, of, the, of, of, of that driver, so I should be able to reproduce it on a different architecture, doesn't have to be the case. It's really important for uh, this, for 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 the uh, for solving those hard, those hardware bugs to actually have the right information that we provide in the bug uh, bug reports. Like 
yeah, my, my GPU supports uh, OpenGL 4.6. Yes, but I want to know that number besides that, because that's actually the dr internal driver version number that I can provide to, to the GPU vendors from K. This specific version has, uh, we, we, we have some issues with it. We need to find out what, what, what it is. So, how can you help? One thing is test early. Like often uh, we, we see that uh, um, uh, users are actually testing on all the hardware when we're in the release candidate phase. A typical, this, the, 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 the process to solve an issue which is GPU related there, there will not happen within that week before we, we, we release. So it will most likely be one release after that. Um, but it can also happen that from, from okay, nobody reported something on the, in, inside the alpha phase. So this code can be, should be correct. And then we build something on top of it and build something on top of that. And then something says from, okay, here down, 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 down here, this is not working. And then we have to rethink everything over to make sure that that happens. Report early is really important for, 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 for us. And mainly, uh, we have a lot of Jeep uh, uh, systems at the, at, at the studio and the Blender, Blender Institute, but they are quite professional, up-to-date systems. Um, so we know how uh, the modern uh, GPUs work, the modern uh, systems, but the early systems, that's often not, uh, 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 yeah, that cannot be tested by us because there are so many differences. I hope nobody is like this, because this is often a reason I get when, 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 when I talk to, 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 to people from, oh yeah, they're still building on it. So if this system fails, yeah, they, 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 they will solve it. Yeah, we will solve it if we know that it's not working. So adding, so giving feedback, giving feedback early on, that's really important. Be more like from, okay, try to reprodu reproduce it on a, on, a, on a different machine. If that works, that's good. That's information for, 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 for us that can, can help us during the process. And when you report something, always report via, uh, via help and report a bug because we add additional information to, to that bug report that actually helps us solve the issue. Um, if Blender crashes on, 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 on startup, you can do this with any Blender version. It doesn't matter if it is the latest, this line will always be the same. This is the end of my presentation. Um, Thank you. Any questions? Oh, enough. <laughs> Thank you. This was really informative. I'm morbidly curious. What is the oldest computer you have at Blender HQ? <laughs> <laughs> oldest working one? <laughs> no. Uh, when I started working on, 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 uh, at, at, the, at the Blender Institute in, in 2018, uh, I made sure that no system leaves the building until I approve it because I want to make sure that we have the latest one. So we're still building it up. Uh, the oldest one that we have that's uh, actually uh, something around 12 years old, um, but that doesn't uh, support uh, any uh, GL uh, any, any, any anymore. So we are not able to, to use that one. Um, but that's always the trick. Uh, sometimes we don't have the hardware and if we don't have the hardware uh, it, we can try to make a fix build it release it let the user test provide 
information, okay, this line of code that we changed, it changed, didn't fix the issue, so we need to do something else. It is really important for, uh, for, 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 for this to actually have hands-on uh, tools on that, on that system to find out what's actually happening. Uh, otherwise, it can take weeks to find find out what's what's happening or that. So, I'm always uh, 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 yeah like collecting hardware, finding out, keeping systems. If anyone goes to to the Blender in, in, Institute, uh, you will immediately know what my desk is. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Hello, first of all, thanks for your nice speech. Uh, I have a question regarding the 17th slide. It was about an error uh, that we said that the issue was the value parse, yeah, the value parse within the bracket, the 16K. Um, my question might come from my IT background mainly, but why this is an issue? Because it's within double codes that in programming anything inside double codes is string and debuggers, compilers does not really care what is inside the double codes. Mm -hmm. So why the error is within these double codes? Yes, uh, the question is from, from uh, um, why is this actually being an error because this is in double, between double quotes and double quotes are text and text should be ev uh, evaluated as a single thing. That's true on the CPU. The GPU doesn't support strings. So many compilers in, 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 the, in the early days just didn't know about characters or strings. So they didn't add it to their compiler. Later on, when uh, sh uh, more code was shared between CPU and GPU and, uh, or uh, and, uh, the, the compilers became more mature, they, uh, uh, they were able to, to, to handle that. So it is also based on the maturing of the compiler. The question is from, from, okay, what's the impact of the workarounds that we have based on the uh, render times and per per performance? Some of them are bad. <laughs> Some of them are really bad. Um, but it is mainly from uh, uh, if you have an older system, and uh, l like most workarounds are specifically for older systems. And when you have all the systems, uh, your, the performance is already a bit lower. And most of the time users are using it just for modeling and not for rendering. That's one point of the story. The other point of the story is that we actually have tests in place uh, where we use uh, the, where we can enable all the workarounds and test uh, all, uh, all, the, all the workarounds and the, and the render times, but we currently don't compare them yet. But we have stuff in place, and it's also something we want to, 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 to involve to get the, those numbers more uh, out there, and because it would also help us. And the question is from, from okay, if, if you look at OpenGL or Vulkan, uh, which platform is more stable or less stable? It's basically, um, I'm going to, uh, to, to limit it between OpenGL and, 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 and Vulkan because actually Vulkan is the replacement of OpenGL. 
So the time when uh, Vulcan uh, uh, was released, the first version, uh, uh, and, and it was su 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 successful, and many games moved from, uh, from OpenGL to Vulkan, which also means that a lot of the issues that the vendors get, got were not OpenGL issues anymore, but Vulkan issues. So the drivers of Vulkan became more stable and the drivers of the OpenGL became less stable. Uh, so it, it is basically also, uh, and, and uh, from okay, where is the majority of uh, the majority of the of the, of the, of the people of the market, uh, which platform it is using? Um, currently, it is a bit in in in, in a tie. I I I, I would say, uh, but Falcon has several uh, things that we have full control about the whole, uh, the, uh, about the memory. We have full control about the compiling. And that's, that is actually what's uh, really beneficial on the st stability. Because the, uh, like, like this presentation also, also show, uh, there are quite some differences between the front-end compilation and in Vulkan, the front-end compilation, that's Blender. So we have a single compiler doing all the work. Yeah, the question is from from if Blender updates or a uh, driver updates and one and 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 uh, feature is uh, cannot work anymore, uh, can we disable that feature? And it's often not the case. Like for uh, uh, many uh, many of those features, they interact, and uh, if you make any interaction uh, optional. You uh, it, 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 technically it can, but it, the uh, render performance on all the drivers will be worsen. So it's always a trick from do, do, do we want to get most of the performance and uh, most people want the best performance versus do we want the, be the biggest su su support. Um, and that's that's the challenge, the trick to 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 to, to get right. Like um, disabling specific features, it's we're not doing that. Uh, the question is from 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 would we uh, also disable new technology uh, because we know that we also want to support all the hardware and actually it is the same like for workarounds uh, blender supported OpenGL 3.3 for a long time but if it but that was the minimum requirements if it uses uh, an OpenGL 4.3, uh, a 4.6 uh, device, it would allocate 4. Point, an, an OpenGL 4.6 device and use the features of that uh, uh, op OpenGL version. Uh, but that was an additional, um, uh, that is then, 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 then mainly an, uh, that, uh, uh, that a workaround is available for older versions. And that's how we handle it. It is more from, okay, uh, we support it, but there needs to be a uh, 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 workaround. The only one feature that uh, I'm looking into to, to, uh, to get, which is actually not realistic to, uh, to, to have a workaround, that is uh, the hardware ray tracing. Um, Technically, it can, but it is such a lot, a lot, lot of work that we won't. 
but the rest, mesh shaders, now you, you can do it with, with the vertex shader. It will be slower. The question is from, from if you don't have access to the to the physical system, uh, do we uh, make uh, builds with extra logging, or uh, do do uh, do we have options to uh, for extra logging to find out what's actually happening? And that depends. Uh, if we know where to look, so so if we have an area where 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 we know from, okay, here around this area, it it, it happens. We add print statements, send a bill to the user, find out from yes, it is, or no, it doesn't. Uh, if a person is more experienced with, uh, uh, with de de debugging, we sometimes ask from, okay, can you try a, a, a GPU debugging tool and find out from, okay, where it's lacking? Uh, but if it crashes, the debugger also wouldn't uh, think. Uh, but it is mainly on a per case basis. There are some uh, debugging um, uh, options available in the in the, in, in in the release, um, which which is turned on, uh, which can be turned uh, turned uh, turned on. Uh, which already gives some some information, uh, but it is, if if it is really related to uh, to low level stuff, it, it is often uh, uh, custom built. Yes. Is there any interest uh, in uh, for those who have <coughs> the latest versions of OpenGL to use complete shaders? Uh, where you, the question is from if you use the latest uh, version of OpenGL, uh, if, uh, if, if it makes sense to use compute shaders. Actually, uh, the most part of EV is, is compute shader based. Uh, so uh, that's also the reason why we uh, bumped the version last year to uh, OpenGL 4.3. Uh, so we know that every platform supports uh, compute shaders. The question is from if you report, uh, use uh, help and uh, report a bug, uh, do we only uh, 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 send a, a summary of the, of, of, of the system and the GPU, or do we also send a lot of additional inf inf information? And we don't, because security is really important, and we don't want to send information that the user didn't accept uh, over the internet. So uh, those two lines from, okay, you're running on the Windows system and this is the GPU and the driver, that's the only information that, that is being sent. We sometimes ask uh, 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 to, uh, okay, um, this is a detailed error and we need to have more de de details. We sometimes ask the, uh, the user to uh, use help and then save system info because there is more inf 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 information in the log. Um, uh, but for the GPU specific stuff, I most of the time just use the driver version, go to GPU info, and then find out what's that, uh, that uh, 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 GPU capable of. question is, do we actually don't use uh, crash report uh, uh, systems or something like that? No, we don't. No. Yeah, you, you have tried to encourage people to report bugs uh, even on Alpha and Beta 
stages, but have you considered uh, automatic testing approach with continuous integration, at least for alphas and betas? The question is from, from, from okay, I'm promoting to uh, test early from, from the user per perspective. And, uh, but don't we do uh, uh, test based auto automated uh, tests in, uh, during, during that phase? Uh, actually, we do. Uh, every build of Lander, uh, every, every, every time a commit is, 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 is landed, or in, or, or, or in pool request is landed, it's, it is being tested. Uh, it's not being tested on all the hardware, but on the major hardware. Um, but we don't have all the systems there, like we're an open source company and a project and with limited re resources. So we don't have uh, a huge uh, build farm with all the different uh, GPUs and drivers out there. Uh, uh, but we try to do it and we try to improve, but it takes some time uh, to get that up and running. Yeah. One more question. Do you have a wish list of hardware you would like to <laughs> <laughs> The question is, do I have a wish list of hardware uh, I can, uh, which I would like to receive? And... Um, Actually, the, for the modern hardware, we have good uh, uh, good con contact, and we and we get them regularly from the vendors, uh, which is amazing. Uh, it is often the older hardware, so actually the and that is my personal wish list. I know that some persons on in in the, in the company say, "From now, we should just drop it." No, I want them. <laughs> uh, basically, I have uh, hardware from 14 year old, but that's Linux, and I don't have the same on Windows. So, yeah, something like that. Yes. And the question is, do we do platform deprecation? And yeah, we do. Uh, the, the main line is from we, uh, we must support all the hardware from the past seven years. Uh, that's already sometimes tricky. Um, but if you go to, uh, to a different operating system, we can go quite far back. Like uh, uh, if, 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 if you use uh, Linux, you can go much further back than you use uh, a, 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 a Windows system. So the, but we do blacklist several drivers. Those are also uh, uh, stated in the Blender manual uh, from, okay, if you have these drivers, they don't work. Uh, please use one of those. So uh, it's more th that part from, from, from okay, the driver is uh, blacklisted, then actually hardware uh, is blacklisted. Yeah, like um, uh, the question is, is was, was, was the step from, uh, from uh, regular GPUs to, to, an, to an Apple GP, uh, type of GPU a uh, big step for, 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 for us? Because it is a totally different architecture and that. Actually, uh, we had a lot of help and actually uh, Apple did all the work on doing that. <laughs> and... Um, and, uh, and and we uh, and but also for the from the Vulcan point of view and I don't know if you've seen the windows on arm that's the same uh, kind of architecture that we also need there um, but then we need that for the Vulcan backend and uh, it is challenging because it is a different GP uh, architecture and what does it make it different 
um, is a regular GPU, when you send a draw co a co 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 command, it does the vertex, the whole geometry processing, the rasterization and the fragment shader inside the same uh, ap approach. And actually the ARM-based GPUs, they use something different because the draw commands only do the, does the vertex and then it uh, stores those, uh, the, 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 those in tiles then do some processing to find out from, okay, this fragment I actually don't need to draw, drop that, and then do the fragment shader in a separate step. And that's a totally different way of working with, uh, with the GPUs. It has different artifacts and different ways how to synchronize all the draw commands. Uh, uh, but in the, in the, in the end, um, if you follow the specification, it, it will all be fine, TM. <laughs> yes. Uh, the question is from from is there a major difference in in supporting the uh, m1 to m3 uh, different of, uh, of of hardware and actually we don't have see on the blender size any difference like ev everything is done on the metal layer which is part of the operating systems that uh, and to it's the operating system, uh -oh. yeah. <laughs> I still have to say <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I have like a two questions. Uh, so first question: Which Linux repository do you use for tested testing purposes? And how do you usually like do the code? Do you rather do Linux or deploy Windows or Mac OS, or each employee just do it on different? I'll start with the first question from, from what uh, Linux which uh, Linux rep uh, repository we are using and I'm just using an LTS Ubuntu version. I just switched to 2404. Uh, so that, that's, that's my main system uh, for Linux development. Um, for uh, typically um, and the second question was from, uh, sorry. It was about uh, each employee building on different OCs or you have specific OC used for building the blender. I, well, like, like maybe, for example, maybe you need to do it on Ubuntu, some do it on Windows, some do it on Mac OS. We have like a set of rules like we do it on Linux and just testing out on the different operating system. Okay, so the question is 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 from from do we test on uh, on more uh, uh, operating systems uh, or uh, for d do we de develop on on multiple uh, 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 OSs at at the same time? Uh, that's every developer, but my responsibility is platform support. So if you go to the Blender Institute, you will find my desk immediately because it has five systems. And then on the second desk, uh, Sega installed another seven systems for, for, for me. So <laughs> no, the, 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 I try to test it on, uh, uh, my main development is uh, Mac, Mac, Mac OS and Linux. And uh, I do test on Windows once a week. Yes. <laughs> yes. Monday. <laughs> okay, thank you very much.